I think with the audience, I, I, as much as any play I've ever done, I think this this play is going to, to uh, spark conversations among the audience, either in the lobby, or in the car on the way home, or the next day when you're when you're really digesting things. In the sense that it kind of strips away the the make believe concepts and beliefs in the legal system, and 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 truly sort of breaks it down to its bare bones, me versus you mentality. And where, whereas truth is not necessarily always the most important thing, or even the thing that's even the objective at this point. Sort of uh, playing it back in your head and figuring out who knew what when, when they said it, did they believe it, or were they trying to get something from somebody else? The, 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 the verbal interplay, as in most David Mamet plays, um, is a exceptional. Part of the power of this play is what's said on stage. Part of the power of the play is what you're going to be talking about after you see it. David Mamet's plays definitely come in two parts. The one on stage and the one that happens on the drive on the way home. So I'm really excited to be in Atlanta to direct the Atlanta premiere of David Mamet's Race.